Guys, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I was at my post op, my six week post op appointment just a few minutes ago. And I don't have to go back for another month. Yay! I have no fluid forming in my stomach or anything, so I didn't have to get stabbed with a needle, which is awesome. So, all good news. It took him a long time today to get to the appointment, which normally it's like in and out, but that's okay. And I also got copies of my before pictures, and guys, I haven't seen them until today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the difference. Oh, if anybody's thinking about getting a tummy tuck and um, muscle repair, I don't know what's on my nose, excuse me, please. Um, and muscle repair, do it. Just take the time and do it. It took me about a month to like fully recover. Absolutely worth it, every bit of it. Um, and you guys know I nearly went crazy, happened to sit still, but still worth it. Anyway, on my way back, um, I'm getting um, fusion sushi um, because I told my husband, I'm like, guess what? You're buying me lunch today. <laughs> so I'm getting steak sushi. It's not even really sushi. I'm getting fusion today. And on my way there, I stopped at Salon Centric because I was hoping to find a backup nail brush, which I did. I don't know if I'll love it. It's prolific brand, which is kind of just like your average brand, but it's my number 10 oval blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't the craziest, expensivest brush I've ever used, which the ones I use right now are the craziest, expensivest brushes I've ever used. But they're getting real old. They're years old. And they're starting to show it. So I'm going to give this little guy a try. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it because it's a little bit short. But if nothing else, I can use it for 3D. So, you know, it's good either way. And they gave me, I don't know, they gave me a sample of something. What is this? Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, sometimes they use those, sometimes they don't. And then, while I was in there, they have a better selection of young nails here than, around here, than anywhere else. And I happened to find two young nails glitters that I don't actually have, which is shocking because I have so many. One is Incredible Green. I hope you can see like how limey green that is. It's beautiful. And one is called, what do you call them? Sea Spray. And it's like a white and silver. Like so pretty, pretty. I don't have either one of these. So boom, that makes me happy. I didn't really need these, but I mean, they had two that I didn't have already. <laughs> anyway, and they're, I mean, these are like five bucks, like to be happy. like. <laughs> I don't have any glitter like this. I don't have any glitter that color at all. That's amazing to me. It's beautiful. And it's so springy and lovely. Where did I just put that brush? Oh, here it is. So we'll give the brush a try in a little bit and see if it, we love it or if it's going straight to doing 3D nail art. But I have to order a new Light Elegance one since those are my go to, I love them ones. So, yeah. I was really happy with my doctor's visit, really happy with finding the two glitters I was looking for. Well, I wasn't even looking for, finding the brush I was looking for, <laughs> and getting the two glitters that I didn't have in my collection, and because I'm rotten, and now I'm headed to Fusion to get steak sushi-ish, and then I'm headed back to the shop because I broke my heart this morning. I was working on that sign that I was working on for my client Melissa <laughs> and I was using puffy paint to outline some lettering and I dropped the bottle of paint into the paint and then picked it up and because the paint was slippery on the bottle dropped it again so I just smeared black paint all over when I say all over I mean all over the burlap sign I was painting and it will not come out it's not like I can just like take some alcohol or something and clean it out it's in the fabric and <laughs> so I get to make the whole thing again not the whole big sign not the big one but the little one I was working on 
I mean, luckily I had got plenty of the burlap fabric to paint it on and that, that's fine. I just have to redo the whole thing again. And I don't know if you know this about me, lettering is not really up in my jam so much. Not really my type of artwork. <laughs> it's harder for me to concentrate on doing lettering than just about anything else in the world. I mean, there's measuring involved, <laughs> lines and things. So, and it's, you know, big, I, oh, yeah, I just, I cried. <laughs> I was so mad at myself for being so clumsy. I cried, whatever. So I've got that mapped out in pencil and I'm gonna go back and get started on doing it again. <laughs> and what sucks is that other side was almost done when I just dropped puppy paint all over it. Like that's the kind of morning I had, but the afternoon is turning out nicely. <laughs> so yeah, hello copper. So yeah, um, so I'm almost to Fusion. How do you say it? Fusion? I think it's fusion. It's F-U-S-I-A-N. So, half fuse, half Asian fusion. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Okay. I'm gonna get my sushi and I'll probably talk to you guys in a little bit. We're going to dinner tonight. We're taking Tyler for a big fat steak at J. Alexander's for his birthday. My son turns 21 today, you guys. Maybe that's why I'm dropping shit everywhere because I'm so flipped out about the fact that my son is 21. Oh! I'm not mad it's just weird you know <laughs> he was just a baby five minutes ago you guys and the cutest baby at that but it's cool he's gotta grow up i suppose and i need to work over work, work through it and not pretend that it's about me <laughs> I hope he has a wonderful birthday. I'm about to call him in a few minutes here. He should be awake by now, I would think. He's on spring break, so he's been sleeping in. Um, so, yeah. I've got a guy in a BMW across from me staring at me like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.